Hi, my name is Alejandro Yegros. I'm the maker of Conjuguemos, and this is a tutorial on Conjuguemos 2.0, which is being released in the fall of 2018. And it's going to focus on the roster page, which is where you create uh, your classes and your students. And if you want to jump around to specific topics, I indexed this video in the comments area. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start with classes. Um, classes are kept here on the left hand side of the page and in order to create a class it's pretty easy you just go right there create a new class and click uh, write the name and click create um, and if you wanna if you click here on the three dot menu uh, you have two options you can either rename the class or delete it permanently if you delete the class all the kids that are assigned to that class will then show up as unassigned so any kid that doesn't have a class is always going to show up as unassigned. You don't have to create classes, uh, but there are two main purposes for classes in the site. The first one is for organization of your roster. I mean, if you have a lot of students, it's a lot easier to just click on a class and see them all at the same time than having to sift through, in my case, 766 students. Uh, so, uh, so you might want to do it for organization purposes. The other reason you might want to have classes is to control what the students can see on their end. So, for example, these five students that are in Honors H, they're only going to be able to see the activities that are assigned to them. If I assign an activity to Intermediate 1B, well, they won't be able to see that activity. So the second reason you might want to have classes is to control what the students can see on their end. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about how to add students. You have two choices. You can either add them yourself or the students can register themselves. I'm going to start by talking about you adding them. To add students, you go right there, add new. And you have two choices. You can either uh, have the do it in an automated way, which means that the site is going to create usernames for you. So you write the language that you want the usernames to be. Here you write the password that you want them to use, not your own password, but the password that they're going to use, and then you just paste your roster right there. When you submit this, uh, the site is going to generate a list of a bunch of usernames for each kid. Or you can do it the old-fashioned way, add manually, where you do it for each kid. It's more work, but you also have more control. The other choice that you have is you can have the students register themselves. And for this, this is where you might want to use a new feature in Conjugamos 2.0, which is the teacher code. Uh, this is my own teacher code, because I'm a teacher. And uh, if you give this code to your students, uh, when they register, they're going to be in this page. This is, this is the student registration page. When they register here, where it says teacher code optional, if they write the teacher code there, they'll be able to choose, they'll be automatically assigned to you as a teacher. Uh, they don't have to write the teacher code. If they don't write it, then they'll be responsible for finding you as a teacher on their end. But, but if they write the teacher code, they'll automatically be registered. And so if they write the teacher code, when they log in the first time, they're going to see this. They're going to have me as a teacher, but they're going to show up as unassigned. If they want to join a class or join a teacher, this is where they click, Join Teacher Class. This is where they can switch a teacher. They can write the teacher code after registration. Or class, this is where they can join a class. So this button right here, you would tell them to click there. Uh, you could also uh, assign them on your end. So for example, if you see my own roster, I have these students right here that are unassigned. This student right here is unassigned. If I want to assign certain students to a class, I click on them, I click on bulk actions, and I click on assign to class. Um, one last thing about class joining, it's possible that you would not want to allow them to switch class. That happens sometimes if you don't want kids to keep switching in and out of a class in order to see what other kids are seeing. If you want to enable or disable that, you go to this little gear icon right here, which is disable class, or it's going to... This is where, if I click here right, right, uh, right now, it's going to take me to my settings where I allow students to change their class via the Join Teacher Class button. If I disable that and, and click Submit, it's going to prevent them from, uh, from switching. 
which might be a good idea again if I don't want them switching from class to class. And uh, finally, uh, I'm just going to mention two more actions that you can do. Uh, you can either reset the password, which is what you're going to have to do if kids lose their password. You can reset the password for however many kids you want. Or you can archive, archive kids. Uh, when you archive kids, uh, you basically make them inactive so they, they, their, their accounts can't be used anymore by them, but they're not deleted. So you would look for them right here in the archived roster. So you go there, you see the, two, the, the kids right there, and I can restore them. Uh, and just by clicking on them and either clicking restore or delete. If you delete them, they'll be deleted permanently. So I'm going to restore them. And uh, now we're back. Uh, I go back to the roster. And, uh, and they're going to be right there. So this was a tutorial for uh, uh, the roster page. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.